Hi guys, welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to generate random numbers in Excel. Now this might be useful if you want to create a random number generator or potentially generate a random date. There's three different functions I'm going to look at today. These are rand, rand between and rand array. So let's start with rand. The rand function in Excel generates a random number between zero and one. It's quite a simple function to use. We simply go equals rand, open our black brackets, close our brackets and hit enter. And you'll see that a random number has been generated. Now, one thing to note is anytime you make a change within your workbook, this number will update. So you can see it's updated for simply typing into that cell. Another way to force it to update is to hit F9, or we can click into our cell and hit enter. And you can go into your cell also by clicking F2 and then enter. However, you might not want this number to update all the time. So if we go into our cell and hit F9, it will convert your random number generated into a number format. And this now is just a number and it won't change. So if we go back to our function, now you can also make rand generation number between 1 and 100 by simply multiplying this integer by 100. So equals rand, open our brackets, close our brackets and multiply it by 100. And this will essentially give you a number that's either equal to or greater than 0, but it will always be less than 100 because the initial rand number is always less than 1. If you want this to be a whole number, you can combine it with the integer function. An integer basically rounds down the number to the nearest whole number. So just looking quickly at how that function works, if you would have 55.5 and hit enter, you'll get 55 because it's rounded down to the nearest whole number. So putting all the zeros on, you can see it's a whole number. And we can combine these functions together. So equals int. And then we want to put in our rand, open our brackets, close our brackets, and multiply it by 100. And this will give you a whole number between 0 and 100. You can see that because this is no longer linked to the previous cell, it's generating its own number. Now it is also possible to make the rand function generate a random number between two numbers. We'll look in a second at rand between, which is potentially a slightly easier way of doing this. However, it's useful to know how to do it this way. So equals rand. And we want to multiply it by our largest number minus our smallest number. And then we want to add our smallest number on. And if we hit enter, you'll see that's a number between 1,000 and 5,000. And if you wanted it to be a whole number, we'd simply take this and add in the int function. And if we were to change this to say 10 and 50, you'll see that you get numbers between those two. So that's a quick introduction to rand. Let's now move on and show you how to use rand between. Now rand between is a way of generating a whole number between a lower and a higher number, so a bottom and top number. This is arguably a lot simpler than the rand function we looked at a minute ago. Again, it's quite easy to use. So we go equals rand between, pick our bottom number, and then pick our top number. And these don't have to be linking to cells, they can just be values. And if we hit enter, you'll see you've got a number between 100 and 500. And if we copy this down, pasting our formulas, you can see that it works down the board. This is also a useful function because it works with dates. So if we were to copy that formula in there, you'll see that we get a random date between these two dates. And essentially this is because Excel is looking at these as numbers. So if we were to format these as numbers, you can see that the date is actually stored in Excel as a number. And all we're doing is we're formatting it as a date. So we get a date between these two. Now one useful trick with rand between is if we were to select this whole table here 
and say we wanted to have random numbers in the entire table, we use equals rand between, select our bottom number, I'm going to make this absolute, I'll explain why in a second, and then select our top number, again make it absolute, hold down control and then hit enter, and you'll see we've got random numbers between those two numbers, I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see the entire table. Now, if you were to do that, selecting your entire table and not have this as absolute, you get errors throughout. Because essentially what it's doing, it's pulling the formula across incorrectly. So it's looking at values over here. So we just undo that. We've got our random numbers. Now, one thing to note with this, if we were to make this a very small range, you note know that we will get duplicates in there, particularly as run between only generates whole numbers. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about how to create a random number generator that only has unique values, do leave me a comment below. So that's a quick introduction to Rand Between. Let's move on now and look at Rand Array. Now, using a similar table to what we did in the last example, I'm going to demonstrate the Rand Array function. And essentially, what this does, it generates an array of random numbers for a particular number of rows and number of columns. As with the other random functions, it's very easy to use. So we're going to go rand array. We want our number of rows. Now I happen to know there's 20 rows here. There are 12 columns because it's 12 months. And what you can do is you can pick a maximum and a minimum number. So let's say we want between 1000 and 5000. And the last parameter is whether you want it to be a decimal or an integer, aka a whole number. So we're going to put that in as true. And when we hit enter, you'll see that it's filled in my tables with random numbers between 1000 and 5000. Now with your random array function, all your parameters are actually optional. So if we were to only do the first part, we would just get 20 columns. And it would be similar to the rand function, just between 0 and 1. If we were instead to just do the second one, so comma 12, you'd just get the first row, and again between 0 and 1. And if we just undo that, so we go back to our full table, if we don't know how many rows or columns we have, we can actually use these first two parameters to force it to count. So to do this, we use count A, which basically counts the number of cells that aren't empty. So we want to count A with this column. I'm going to make it absolute by pressing F4, close the bracket, and you'll see that that has updated with the same number of rows, and we can do the exact same thing with our columns. So we can do count A, and instead we can count our headings here, make it absolute, close our brackets, and hit enter. And similar to earlier on, you can have your maximum minimum values in some cells here. So if we put in a few extra here, say minimum, maximum, and we'll put in our values that we have currently. And if we wanted to link these instead, make them absolute and hit enter. And if you picked false in here, you would return values with decimal places. So you could just create some decimal places here and you might want to combine that with your round to round it to the nearest two decimal places. So if we were to change that to round and then round it to two digits, we're now rounding to the nearest penny. So that's an introduction to all the functions that you can use to randomly generate numbers. If you've got any specific questions or would like to see anything particular in a future video, please do leave me a comment below. I hope that you found this video useful. Remember to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.